look at this view. We're currently in the middle of Coal Harbor in Vancouver. Hi guys, we're going to do something different today. It's our first time doing this. So we're here early in the morning, it's 9 a.m. We are geared up. We are gonna be renting a boat today here in Granville Island. We booked in advance and we rented the boat for about three hours. And our plan today is just go around Granville Island and maybe if we can, we can probably go around Bowen Island, which is like an island just right beside Vancouver. We've never driven a boat before, but they said there's a 10 minute video tutorial before <laughs> it. So good luck yeah. to us. <laughs> yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can do that. Also look who's here. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom and my brother flew in from Winnipeg and what better way to show them the beauty of BC than to actually explore the waterworks. So actually Wawad was part of the Navy cadets for, for a few years. So I think we may, we may be in good hands, right? Yes. <laughs> Someone from our party has experience, so we should be good. We should be good. <laughs> With prayers and... <laughs> Here we go! <laughs> Are you ready? Not ready yet. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have three options. 16 feet with 50 horsepower, 17 feet with 90 horsepower, and 18 feet with 115 horsepower. Each of them have different capacity, and these are the prices for each of the boats. We are here right now, and that is Bowen Island. Up here is the sea colony. Watch the seals. Someone's already getting seasick. This is the driver's video. So much information. The wind is really strong on this area over here. You can go all the way up to the lighthouse. All this area is uh, really nice because it's protected by the mountain. And you can go into Cold Harbor and even all the way to Deep Cove. Some parts is going to be a little bit uh, wavy, not too bad, but uh, in that boat for four people, you are pretty close to the water. So the possibilities of getting a splash are going to be mm. very high. Okay, if you guys want to grab a life jacket, the one on the top shelf, those blue with gray, Hey, we have our suits on, our best. <laughs> we are here right now and we are going to turn here and go to Deep Cove. We have three hours to spend. Oh my Biggest here. Oh right? my god. Very good, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 After 10 minutes, I feel like a pro. <laughs> about to cross the Lionsgate Bridge. This is the Lionsgate Bridge from underneath. Normally we would just be at the seawall over there biking or maybe going over the Lionsgate Bridge. We're under the Lionsgate Bridge! <laughs> <laughs> maybe they were like, who's this guy? <laughs> it's his first time riding a boat. What kind of sitting position is this? <laughs> the, the seat is too low. You can't drive a boat like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look at the 
Look at this view! We're currently in the middle of Coal Harbor in Vancouver. sat on something. So we're just currently docked here at Deep Hope. One of the few options that you can do while renting a boat like this is use the public docks in Deep Hope. If ever you needed to go to the washroom or whatever. We did a bathroom break. Time to head back! Time to head back to Brandon Island. It'll take about an hour and a half to get there. An hour and a half? Yeah. Because I think it took us about an hour and a half to get here. And I, I, I just assumed that it's going to be the same going back. So what they told us is after an hour and a half of driving, you need to replace the fuel with another... At one point, we got pulled over. <laughs> I feel like we got pulled over by the police. <laughs> because we, at Coal Harbor, when we were at Coal Harbor, we stopped over in the middle to take selfies and stuff, to take pictures. But apparently, it's a busy area. Like a Port Authority vehicle just went up to us and said, you can't stop here, you know, you gotta keep going to the side. Because <laughs> the big cruise ships are about to take off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we are on the way. <laughs> Call them. Seal! Seal! <laughs> Jellyfish? <laughs> oh driving a boat? Uh, I think it's quite good. It's quite different but it, it's similar to driving a car. The the steering wheel is on the right side and so I'm pretty used to like the left side of the of left side driving. But yeah it was a fun experience. So a little bit of information for you guys that wanted to do this. They do require a $500 deposit for the boat which you'll get back when you dock back the boat and they don't see any damages in the boat. We highly recommend this experience if you guys are coming here in Vancouver. What other way to see the beauty of Vancouver? Yeah, right? Yeah. So you get the mountains and if you guys are done with the mountains, you get like the waterworks here. And unfortunately, we couldn't go to Bowen Island. That was the original plan because you got two routes when you guys are uh, renting a boat here. It's one, you can go to Bowen Island and there's like a sea colony there where you can see seals. And there's another route going to Deep Cove. So I think there's only one option today. It's just going to Deep Cove because 
the winds are too strong. Maybe for the next time, you know? Yeah, maybe on the next time. And be on the lookout because sometimes there are just seals popping out out of the water. Yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you guys are new here, make sure to subscribe to our channel. See you on our next vlog. Bye! Bye.